My name is Matthew Kane. I'm part of the team at Precision Biosciences. We like to think of ourselves as the genome editing company. Um, we are uh, a genome editing company based here in uh, Durham, North Carolina that, uh, broadly speaking, is dedicated to improving life, and I'll explain what that means in a, in a few slides. Um, we've built uh, an incredible team of, of some of the absolute leaders and pioneers in the genome editing industry, and uh, today are poised to transform our genome editing platform into greatly needed products throughout gene therapy, cancer immunotherapy, and the agricultural plant markets. Just quick background on the company since they've uh, allotted us a full six minutes. Um, we were uh, founded in 2006. Um, it wasn't until um, last, uh, last May, however, in which we closed our Series A financing with, with really an all-star cast uh, of investors that I've just been really fortunate to be able to work with. Um, I'll call out a couple of here in particular. Um, obviously, uh, VinBio and, and F-Prime, uh, you all know their stories. Um, but Amgen and Baxalta Ventures have been just a, a dream to work with and, and provided incredible value to the company over the last year. Um, I'll also mention Osage University. Um, they really helped us bring this syndicate together and also have been a, been a huge add to the business. Um, we are a nuclease-based genome editing platform. It is not a CRISPR. Um, it is something that we call Arcus. It is a synthetic homing endonuclease, so essentially a, a naturally existing um, genome editing system that uh, really evolved for editing function in large genomes. We've sort of harnessed a lot of those beneficial characteristics and have built this into our own proprietary system. Um, this is now being used in preclinical development with an allogeneic CAR-T platform, um, an in vivo gene therapy programs, and of course we also have an agricultural subsidiary that we call Precision Plant Sciences where our ag assets are being uh, developed right now in, in early stage um, plant transformation efforts. Quickly on the leadership team, um, an absolute all-star cast again. Um, I'll point out two individuals in particular, Derek Jantz and Jeff Smith, um, two of the real pioneers in the genome editing industry. They've been at this before there was an editing industry. Um, they were uh, uh, instrumental behind the development of the zinc finger nuclease. Uh, back, in the, uh, back in the 90s and have been uh, in this space ever since, refining um, and, and defining uh, what is possible in the editing space. Um, so I've already been talking a lot about gene editing. I'm assuming a number of you know what it is, but just uh, we're very, very briefly. Um, genome editing is the use of a nuclease to site-specifically um, locate a, a particular uh, genome sequence within a large genome and break right at that point. We can then um, remove DNA from that location, we can add some DNA, or we can just um, very modestly uh, tweak the, the genome uh, at that location, something we call gene surgery. Um, we believe with the Arcus genome editing platform, we have uh, really developed the best in class genome editing platform with the highest possible levels of site specificity, the um, greatest breadth of editing capabilities, so this technology doesn't just knock things out, it's very efficient at inserting or correcting uh, damage or disease genes. It's also the easiest to deliver in vivo to a variety of different um, uh, uh, organisms. And finally, it's fully proprietary to precision. Um, I can say this because uh, we went through uh, five years of patent litigation to, uh, to kind of earn our freedom to operate the hard way and uh, have a system now that um, not only do we have freedom to operate with, but uh, only we can practice. Um, over the last 10 years, we've proven this technology works incredibly well in a very wide variety of different cell types and organisms, everything from T cells to uh, mouse models to, to trout and even petunias, so it works. Um, what this is now letting us do is what we think really develop a broad, highly destructive pipeline across the life sciences. We are in early stages of development, but we, um, we believe we have a very, very strong foundation now to operate within the cancer immunotherapy, gene therapy and agricultural markets. Within cancer immunotherapy, I'm sure a number of you have heard all the, the, the incredible successes folks like Juno and Kite and Novartis have had in the, in the CAR T space. Um, we are also working in that space as well, but rather than using patient-derived T cells, um, we're using cells from healthy donors and then utilizing our Arcus technology to heavily edit those cells so that they can be used in non-matched patients and weaponized so that we can now go after the, the tumors of interest. Um, just last week, we actually announced a global partnership with Baxalta in this space. The, um, the headline numbers are, are exciting, but the reason we did this deal was in the way that we were, um, the way that Baxalta was willing to partner with us and really treat us as a true partner, and also to find the structure such that we could continue to work independently within the CAR-T space and with others, and obviously, um, 
uh, be not be unlimited where with regard to all of our activities um, outside of the, the strict CAR T space within cancer immunotherapy. Um, fantastic transaction. Wanted to thank um, Jason Bragge, John Therry, and all the, the attorneys at Smith Anderson for bringing this home one home for us. It's also now enabling us to um, work much more broadly in the gene therapy space. We now have a number of different preclinical programs underway in both patient cells and animal models, utilizing a wide variety of different delivery approaches and editing approaches for the, for the diseases you see listed on the, on the FAR column, along with a number of others that uh, hasn't, hasn't yet made the cut to the slide deck. Um, in mentioned earlier, we also have a subsidiary in the agricultural space. Um, this is actually a very exciting space right now that a lot of us in the human health markets don't, don't think about very often. But through the use of genome editing, we found that we have significant advantages over obviously traditional GMOs, but also through over traditional breeding. Because in our case, we're simply changing the, only the desired site in the genome to affect the desired trait. In summary, again, we are a genome editing company that is dedicated to improving life through the use of our proprietary Arcus genome editing system. Um, we feel we have a, a tremendous new platform in the CAR-T space um, and are really looking forward to working with our partners at Baxalta. And then obviously we have some incredible challenges ahead in the gene therapy space, but are uh, really excited about the, uh, the opportunities that lie ahead. Um, finally, again, we are using a, a new concept that we call precision breeding to overcome a lot of the challenges that have really held back uh, consumer-facing uh, food products and programs that uh, previously only GMOs could, could attract. So. So thank you again. That's us. Appreciate it.